Brothers and sisters, peace be unto you. Today, I come to you with a message. The faith that overcomes the world. Before I begin, I cover each and every one of us with the precious blood of Yeshua HaMashiach and put on the cloak of invisibility over our minds, bodies, and spirit. Thank you for joining me today. I want to talk to you about faith. What is faith? Most say faith is I'm going to wake up in the morning. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to go to work. My children are going to go to school. Everything's going to be okay. Some think that it's a routine. You know, that what you do and say is your faith. Is it? Who are you trusting? Now, if you haven't noticed, we are in a state of an emergency. I'm going to use the word emergency because preparation is in effect. If you're not ready for what is coming, you know what, before I go there, my name is Queen Warrior, but you know what? I, I don't like to sugarcoat anything. You know, it doesn't make any, it doesn't help you at all if I sugarcoat anything. I'm going to tell you exactly as I think or through the word that you need to hear. We are in a state of emergency. If you are not ready, if your faith in God Ahaya isn't in line with his word, you're in trouble. You're in big, big trouble because if you're not in faith and trust the Lord God, then who are you trusting? The things of this world. And who is the God of this world? Okay, we've gone through this before. And I've spoken to many people and I've told them, you need to be prepared. You need to be ready. And they look at me like, what? My great grandfather 50 years ago, 100 years ago, told us the same story. My grandmother, my, my mother, we've heard it so many times. Yeah, Jesus is coming. Yes, we have to be prepared. Why? What is different? What is so different about now, they tell me? I'm sorry. Have you not even looked outside? See, the problem here is you don't read the word. You don't trust in God. You trust in what? The world, the news, the medium, the, 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 what they're telling you? Listen carefully. Your soul is in trouble if you do not know who your maker is. I would ask around, have you read the Bible? The Bible, they, they, they sound like they don't know what a Bible is. Yes, the word of the Lord. Have you ever read it? No, nah, I don't have time. No, 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 no. I have too much work to do. And you look at them and you tell them, you know, the Lord loves us. He sent his son into this world to save us, the sinners. But you have no time for the Lord? Wait, didn't you go play golf last week? Didn't you go to the beach? You have no time for the Savior? You do know Jesus Christ. And they usually answer, I know Jesus. Oh, you do? Okay, answer me this. Does he know you? And they look at me like, well, yeah. I said, how do you know he knows you? Do you walk in his footsteps? Do you read his word? Do you know what the word tells you that you should do and you shouldn't do? Do you know that we live in the world where sin is in abundance? Everybody's just doing whatever they want to do. Uh, have you ever heard of the commandments? They said, yes, I remember. I I've seen that movie before. You hear them speaking and they're mocking the Lord. I said, don't you fear 
the Lord God, do you know what's going to happen? And they, they look at you like, like, who are you? Right? They, they look at you like, like you're not from here. And I say, we are not from here. You're correct. We are not from here. There's this urgency in my voice and I'm trying to tell them with love. Okay. With love. Yes. Yes. I love everyone. I even love my enemies. You know why? Because the Lord says, love your enemies. See, here's the thing. If you love the Lord, you will love everyone. You are of the Lord. You have it in your heart to be good. But there's so much evil out there. So much evil. You don't understand the time we're living in. Darkness is over, is going to be all over the land. You are going to see things that you've never in your entire life. Oh, wait, you've seen them in the television. You know, all those monster movies. You are going to see things that the word says that your heart will fail of the things you will be seeing. But you are like, oh, I don't want to worry about that. No, 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 no. I don't need that right now. I, I have too much on my plate. I don't need none of that. You mention the word Jesus. You say Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And it's like they just want to hide. You, you mention the Lord God and they treat you like, you know, get away from me. We are the servants of the most high God. And we are here to bring a message to you. Wake up. Wake up. Do you think that I'm here making this, this video for what? Because what I like to, I am trying to warn you. Time is up. The enemy, which there's enemies everywhere, are trying to destroy you. And if you're oblivious of what's happening, you will be destroyed. I do not come here to sugarcoat anything. I'm telling you the truth in love. Warning. Darkness is going to cover this world. The Holy Spirit is going to leave and you are going to be looking for the truth and you're not going to find it because when it's here now, now it's here right now. We're trying to tell you the truth. We're trying to tell you, you need salvation. And the only one that could give it to you is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Why would the father send him? Why? He is what? The way, the truth to life. He is the way, the way to what? To salvation. The truth, the truth to what? The truth of the lies that you've been hearing. Salvation, eternal life. If you do not Accept Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you do not accept him, then what do you have? Death. You have death because the wages of sin is death. Are you listening? Are you listening? Do you think the fate that you have in this world, do you think that's going to save you? Do you think that all the money and the houses and the cars is going to save you? No, no, you are totally wrong. Don't believe me. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just a messenger. Read the word. The Bible, the Holy Scripture tells you everything that's coming everything and everything that happened in the past is going to happen again everything that's coming but you but you what you're too busy oh i go to church i have faith what do you have faith in what oh i know jesus does jesus christ of nazareth know you do you have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with him? Do you know what tomorrow's going to bring? Do you know? Okay, let me ask you this. 
If you were to die tomorrow, do you know where you're going? Do you honestly, honestly know where you're going? Don't tell me, oh, I'm a good person. I, I haven't killed anybody. If you are not under Jesus Christ of Nazareth's salvation, then you are under the law. So if you broke any law, if you went into a grocery store and you took a grape, you are a thief. That means you broke the law and you are punished. You're punishable by death. But through Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you repent of your sins. He's your advocate. He's your lawyer. And he's there to say, oh, she's mine, Father. She's mine, God. I, I got it. I got her. She's mine. And you will be allowed to enter into the kingdom. But without Jesus Christ, who do you think? Who do you think is going to be standing right next to you? Yes, the adversary, the devil, the dragon, the serpent. He's going to say, oh, she's mine. He's mine. And what are you going to say? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I'm not yours. And you're going to look and say, wait a minute. I didn't accept Jesus Christ. So what are you going to say then? What are you going to say? Everyone is appointed to die once and then judgment. You're going to be standing there in front of the Lord God Almighty, creator of all, creator of the universe. And he's going to ask you, what have you done? What did you do to deserve my son? Jesus came into this world to die for us sinners. What have you done? What are you going to answer? Um, yeah, I was too busy working. Yeah, th yeah, that's, that's not going to get you anywhere. You're not going to have an answer because you refused. You refused the one that could give you salvation. You refused him. We're still here. You're still alive. You could still repent. Call upon Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the most high God who came into this world to bring in the truth, who died on the cross, who shed his blood for you and me, the sinners to redeem, of, redeem us of our sins that we may be adopted back to the Father, be regenerated, receive the Holy Spirit, and become born again. If you do not accept Jesus Christ of Nazareth, well, then you already know where you're going. I don't even have to say it. There is no ifs. There is no maybes. This is it. It's final. If you are not prepared and tomorrow something happens, where do you think you're going to go? Where do you think your soul's going to go? Because your flesh, it stays here, dust to dust. Well, where do you think you're going? Our Father is a loving, wonderful, forgiving God. He will forgive any sin. If you're thinking, no, I've done so many bad things, he will forgive you if you honestly, truly humble before him and say, Father, I have sinned against thee. I have offended thee. Forgive me of all the sins I've committed against thee. I repent and I forgive those I have hurt. Come to me and be my Lord and Savior. I know you died on the cross and, in, and three days later, our father in heaven resurrected you. And now you sit on the right hand side of the throne. I know you are his son. That's it. And then repentance, wait, repentance means change. It doesn't say, it doesn't mean I'm sorry. And then you do it again. And I'm sorry. I do it. You do it again. Our father knows our heart. He knows our heart. You cannot fool the Lord God. So faith, who are you going to have faith in? The almighty, powerful Lord God in heaven who created us? Or the sinner, the father of lies? It's your choice. It's your choice. As it reads in Isaiah 45, verse 7, I formed the light and created darkness. 
I make peace and create evil. I, Lord, do all these things. Repent, my brothers and sisters. Call upon the Lord. Repent. Deny yourself. Pick up the cross and follow him. He who saves, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Remember, you're not guaranteed tomorrow. If you die, you will, you will go to the throne room. You will go and you will face the Almighty. And what are you going to say? Don't let it be too late. Repent now. I come before you in peace through Christ our Lord and in love, saying these words from my heart. I want all my brothers and sisters to be, to be saved, but I can't make you. He gave us all a will. It is your choice. I thank you for listening to this message. I give all the glory and honor and praise to the Most High God, Father Ahiah, His Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and Aruah HaKadosh, His Holy Spirit. Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Shalom.